we've had this dish here for a year now. Uh, for those that don't know, it's, a, it's for our internet. It's a Starlink dish. I never did install it properly because I wanted to make sure it worked first, of course. So it took, uh, well, 11 months to make sure it worked. Now, also I'm going to do today, I'm going to put the wire in a pipe under the ground and make it uh, semi-permanent. I say semi because we have another place up off grid and we can now take this dish with us when we go there and have internet there. Not that we'll use it, but have it just in case of emergencies up there because there's no other way to contact anybody. I'm only going about a half a foot deep because nothing well other than the quads gets driven over this it's too close to the septic tank so it's relatively safe here so I, I would probably never go more than a foot deep even if I was driving vehicles over it I know in the past you've had to use uh, like the cement, but first you used a primer. I don't see anywhere on here in these tiny little words that say use a primer, so I'm not going to. <coughs> also, I'm a cheapskate, so I already shook it. To the untrained eye, it might appear that I'm a professional at this. Well, the untrained eye would be mistaken. I'm not a professional. I'm just winging it. Okay, now I could put the wire in and just push it through every every time I add a piece of pipe or I could use a fish tape or my personal favorite a shop vac with a little rag you stick a little rag with a string on it and you suck it suck it through with the shop vac it works awesome Okay, the issues I've run into so far, there's been a few already. Uh, I googled it and they, they said a one inch pipe is good enough. Yeah, it is. One inch 90s are not. Because when they bend these 90s, they're not completely round. Well, the, uh, this irritating thing here, uh, get stuck in the 90s. So what I did, well this 90 I ended up having to just cut it out. It was already glued. I have to take them in the house and put them in the vise and hit them with a torch and straighten them out so I can get this through them. Which means now that this is probably going to have to be kind of more permanent because I don't think I'll be able to pull this through 490s when I want to take it out and use it somewhere else. I'll probably have to buy another cord. It's one of the 
one of the silly things they've done with these dishes is they put these things on the wire. Well, even to go up through the floor in your house, you have to drill a 7 8 hole to fit this through. Well, so once you get it through, now you have a big, big hole in your floor with a tiny wire going through it. Silly. I think they could have done something better there. Uh, I don't know. I'm not an engineer. So, ends up that I have to basically thread this through each piece separately. Instead of just putting all the pipe in and pulling the wire through it, because that won't happen. A heat gun would be preferable, but mine is uh, missing in action. Actually, I know where it is, but it's just way too buried to bother pulling out. What I'm doing is I'm just kind of dry fitting it and then I'll glue it all once I know it's good. So as far as going through the house, I'm just gonna go below that uh, that water drain pipe that's sticking out there. Okay. Speed test is coming out very slow.